Mother of Tears from 2007. Summary, grisly deaths await Italian citizens after an archaeology student, Asia Argento, accidentally releases a demonic witch from her ancient prison. Part 3 of the Three Mothers trilogy. Don't you hate it when that happens? When what happens when you let loose a witch? Yeah. Yeah, I hate it every time. Doesn't uh, that sound amazing? Yeah, it does. I mean, that sounds like a, an amazing And movie. you got your, your, your Argento is uh, happening. This is a dark. You have, Argento yes, you thing. have Ar- Argento tied to it. <laughs> I think where the problem happened is there's fucking f- five writers <laughs> on it. I don't know. I didn't, um, I didn't get that far. Yeah. Uh, typically, I'm not a fan of like these religious type apocalyptic movies, unless they're done like in a very specific way and done the right way, I guess. I, I think like the, Prince of Darkness. Yeah, I think a lot of times the like the exposition drags if it's not done right, and uh, it really fucking drags in this one because they have to build this entire mythos about this shit. I guess it's been building for the other movies though. Have you guys seen the other films in this trilogy? Yeah, uh, you've watched Inferno. I haven't watched Inferno. I watched yeah. Suspiria a few times. Oh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't know what the other films were really. Uh, imp- impressive kill scene right at the front of the movie, uh, followed by uh, a lot of. Cl- uh, end of days sort of clattering and a fucking woman kills a baby. <laughs> that did, was crazy. Did that, did that make you, that make you say, whoa, uh, I, <laughs> cause it, I was not expecting it, that. It caught me off guard. It was so, it looked fake very what, much, but not, it, it was just so offhanded. Yeah. Like it just kind of happens. It's not gruesome. Nope. Uh, if you haven't seen it, um, a lady's just walking by, uh, over a bridge with her baby in the, uh, 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 stroller. <laughs> people and, are people are acting crazy yeah. because they open so, up this. Yeah, the witch so is she, out. She's not, a- and I mean, like to see her, she's not acting crazy. She's just walking, mom walking with her baby in the stroller. She pulls her out, tosses her over the bridge. Yeah, people, and there are people acting crazy, and that's they're another, just fighting everywhere. It's just <laughs> yeah, like it, it shows like fifteen minutes of movie and dialogue, and then it seems like it just. Throws in a minute of random violence. Yeah, and you didn't yeah. know that like, was happening. Like here, yeah, like here, it just you have to kind of make it come together that that's. And what's it was going on. it was way more graphic than I remember it being. Like, oh yeah, I, I mean, it is a dimension extreme movie, but like I wasn't yeah. expecting like the the, the guts the organs and stuff. Yeah, wrapping like, around her neck and shit. <laughs> yeah. my, my wife was watching it with me, and uh, she's like, "Holy shit, what are you <laughs> yeah. watching?" Like you know? I haven't seen a movie like that in a long time. That is just over the top gore and that's yeah. it's sprinkled in random randomly through this entire movie yeah i i, I think that uh, aside from a few flashy moments like the the kills and stuff i was pretty much not enjoying myself through most of this movie had to take a little family matters break in between <laughs> get a little something happy in my life for a minute uh there's a there's a, you know the kill scenes are really the the candy in this there's a priest that gets killed on the stairs that's great I didn't like. Oh, there, there's so many dead kids in this. There's like two or three dead kids in this. It's fucked up. Uh, the, Sorry, Frank. In contrast with the great practical effects, though, there's a lot of bad early 2000s CGI Some happening. Bad CG. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's a question: Do you guys think that the guy that had the bald guy with the monkey? Do you think he bought the eye poker router on like <laughs> Amazon? And what do you suppose it was called? Because that's definitely a specific type of device. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious i like the monkey though i like the whole the, the shit the what, monkey yeah he did a good job uh, monkey did a good job uh, he was a good actor when you finally see the mother of tears uh she looks like something out of cradle of filth album art <laughs> and i and the whole time i'm like girl your titty out girl <laughs> why she got fake tits too that's fucked up which old timey witches don't have fake titties Oh, anyways, <laughs> uh, put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, this legendary witch has some of the worst fake tits I've ever seen. If she's a powerful doom-bringing demon of sorts, why couldn't she just magic them things and make them grow through arc- the arcane arts? <laughs> uh, it is uh, whatever. Boob job ruined Frank's suspension of disbelief. <laughs> uh. And then I wrote down the fireman took the ghost mom straight to hell because <laughs> that was a scene that was like 
she's running her mom's like guiding her through the running away constantly and there's a scene where uh, this guy catches on fire or is it the guy whose son gets killed i don't know his dude catches on fire and like takes the ghost mom down into hell it's real bad cgi um it's pretty weird that Argento directed a scene where his daughter's naked too. I I, no, I think it happens a lot. Yeah, does it? I think just about every movie she's in, she's she gets her titties out, and just about every movie she's in, her dad directs. Oh my god! Oh, so, uh, yeah. The the, the kind of weird. <laughs> the last fifteen minutes of this movie is wild. Uh, Could have used a bit more of the this nonsense and less more explaining what's going on because uh, it gets crazy. Uh, and most of the time, you're just watching Asia Argento walk around in an old house or what, old catacombs. She's walking around a lot. Uh, and, like, it seems like in these movies that are, like, religious-based, the, uh, there's always one very specific odd thing that you have to do to save the day. And you almost oh, they almost always do it by accident. And that happens in this, too. She, she just fucking cuts the, the, the shawl or whatever it is. What's the, what do they call that thing? Uh, shawl? Yeah, it cuts it like off it. of her. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of the movie, basically. Oh, and then they, uh, they, they swim through a pool. They swim through the pool from Poltergeist, is what it looked like. And they escape, uh, into some sort of post apocalyptic PC game from 2002. Did you like that? That background? They were, that was so fake looking, man. Rough, rough. Uh, <laughs> it's a rough movie, man. Rough, rough, <laughs> rough, rough. <laughs> rough, rough. And it's I, a dog. I, the funniest thing was, <laughs> it's just a dog in me, man. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I I wrote down earlier <laughs> while I was watching it, I was writing these notes down, and I wrote down she looks like a cradle of filth model. And at the end of the fucking movie, who plays Cradle of Filth, singing the theme song, Mother of Tears. Actually, it, they kept saying a uh, mother, mother, and uh, um, I had the subtitles on. It kept saying. Ma- uh, Mater. It spelled like Mater, like the Cars character. I was getting a kick out of that, Jared. It was fun. But Mater! Mater! Uh, yeah, it's not. This movie really isn't my thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's probably I, a lot of people that I'm like just listening to Frank's, uh, Frank's hillbilly, <laughs> hillbilly accent on Italian. Mater! Mater! Like, like he, kept, hey. he kept saying some fucked up pronunciation. Mater, Mater. He's going, he's going like, Madra, Madra. And then Madre. the fucking word pops up and it's Mater. <laughs> Mater. No, it was just made me laugh. I think in memes nowadays. So, uh, <laughs> Madra, Madra, Madra. <laughs> That's how that's that's how Danny Vol- that's how Danny's vote says it. He says it in that song. Meta, meta. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I gave this a five out of ten. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that like this movie a lot, but I'm very lukewarm about it. What do you think, Jason? I don't think there's a lot of people that like this movie. Really? Mm-mm. Um. So, again, it's the third movie in the Three Mothers trilogy, the first one being Suspiria and Inferno. Both of those are great movies. This movie is nothing like, nothing like those two. I was actually, I, I was, because Inferno is a little bit different than Suspiria. And then uh, someone told me, well, Mother of Tears is like a little bit of both mixed together. No, it's not. Um, Jason is mad at you. Who ever told him there's that? There's not a whole lot of, there, there's a little bit of Argento in this movie. You can, you can see it, but it's just the, the other parts is just so not, it just, just wasn't as that wasn't what I was expecting. I don't know the random acts of violence, uh, the overtop gore. <laughs> I, don't, I, mean, I don't think any of that's needed. Like it, they got it. His, the Suspiria and Inferno has got some gore in it, but it's not like this. I don't know what, I don't know. <laughs> I what was all for that. It's classy um, gore. I uh, didn't like the look of the witches. Like they could have made the witches, Girl, you titty out. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like uh, what so as someone said. It, it looks like they they all shopped at Hot Topic. Like it. all the witches in the world met at in Rome and went to Hot Topic and got some clothes. Uh, it's got some bad CG in it. Um, not a horrible movie. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was hoping. I gave it a five. Um, I haven't watched Inferno, so Suspiria and this are the only two I watched. So I can't. I can't compare it to Inferno. I, I do like Suspiria. This one's definitely not as good as Suspiria. The over-the-top gore, um, I think, I, was what made me... I mean, I, I'd, I'd have gave it a lower score if the gore wasn't over-the-top. When uh, 
when the intestines fell out, I was like, Jesus, when they start choking her with her, <laughs> with them, I was like, okay, now you got me. I'm, I'm in this one. Uh, that's when I was like, okay. Yeah, that's... This, this ain't... <laughs> this ain't what I signed up for. <laughs> that's when I was like... Not that it was bad. Yeah. It's just not what I was expecting. Do you think it was like that because it was D- Dimension Extreme? Do you think that he Well, I don't know if they the purposely mo- made that movie to to have it released that way, but maybe they did. I don't know. But And maybe it's because I didn't see Inferno, and so I wasn't expecting it to look like Suspiria at all. Well, no. So, because so much time is between. So maybe that's why... Maybe that's why... Uh, the uh, over the top gore didn't. Suspiria come out. When did that come out? Seventy seven. I thought yeah. it was. In the, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I think but, that uh, was two thousand seven. I think. Yeah. I. It looks like I enjoyed it more than you guys did. Um. Definitely not without his falls. Bad CG of that time era. Always pops. It. This was this two thousand two two thousand two thousand seven. I think two thousand seven. Yeah. The. I, the Bad CG of the early 2000s is just something you got to deal with in movies from the but early if you're gonna 2000s. Have, 2007, it should have been better. Than if you're going to have right. so much plodding dialogue, you have to have like a George C. Scott in there. You have to have yeah. some you have to Yeah, have it, de- definitely not without his fault. I tend to like those uh, um, religious themed... Um, and the it's well, um, I can call them the, the candles. They movies. usually have great atmosphere. Great yeah. candles, those movies. Lots like of a, candles. a new age gothic. I, I, I that, that usually kind of works for me. So just even even though it's not at its best, the atmosphere. Kinda I keeps think if, me there. if I didn't know Argento was tied to this movie, I think I probably would have scored it higher. Yeah. But, but I kind of had. I mean, I'm not much. A bit too high expectations. I gave it. I gave it a six. It it has a lot of its flaws. It has a lot of flaws, especially for Argento. But the like Frank said, the kills are the graphic gore is the candy in it. That's the that's the moments. There are plenty of parts that that give you a what? Kinda of, but yeah, so I gave it a six. It's worth watching. But I, I it makes me want to go watch Inferno now to tie the two together. Yes, do that. Apparently I'll have to, I'll have to Apparently Jason says I don't Inferno think I've ever seen is either one of those, so quite I'll a bit better. Without. 